everybody and welcome back to this EU4 multiplayer with me, Midge Man, Bundesver Bob, Benjamin Magnus, Kelvin and Commissar Roach. And we will we left off last time with uh, tensions kind of brewing around the Baltic, uh, Bob being in heavy debt. And there, there was an off-screen conversation going between the Teutons and the Livonian Order. I I'm think just saying, Bob, hear. you might be better <laughs> off as my vassal. You I'm can... feeling okay with my Swedish, Norwegian, Bohemian allies. Hey, Sweden and Norway, how do you feel about things? Well, well I, I don't know. I just invested 50 ducats into him, so I, I I'm, I'm not. I'll, I'll pay off his debts. The, the Teutonic Order has already massively expanded its borders. I'm not super thrilled on the ideas of it having a, a march of that size. I am totally behind my Teuton brothers, and... Uh... I, I will defend them uh, defend in whatever. Defend them? They're the aggressor. <laughs> As in, de defend their side of the argument. Who's, uh, who's talking about war right now? I, I don't, nobody's talking about war. I didn't. Yeah, I was talking yeah, about attacking. Yeah, war. Why are you defending? We're uh, attacking. Play. You being defensive is First off, I haven't even impressive. proposed a war. I've been entirely diplomatic about things. Exactly. You should, uh, you should rein in your uh, your ally there. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. has has anyone actually remembered Same that there's around. an offer vassalization Pete button that it does not yeah. involve declaring war? Well, that's the thing is is if Bob says no, are you going to force the 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 issue? Uh, I that don't know. wasn't a no. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a no. <laughs> Bob hasn't said no. Well, he yes, I have. I think oh. he did. Well, in that yeah. case. <laughs> Because, I mean, I also need a new rival, and you're on my list. There's oh. <laughs> no on his list. Well, I, I mean, of the available rivals. How am I improving? Mm. All right, Bob. I ain't gonna force you into it. I, I, I would need a much more compelling argument to, to, to simply become a vassal. Well, I'm, I mean, I, I, I am not the rank and file of the Saturday streams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, um, I mean, I was. I also happen to be the uh, one who just financed your nice new army. And you did. It's true, but that's that's not compelling for me to. You didn't do that alone. My autonomy. Uh, Sweden invested money into into them at the same time you did. So who's to say who invested in the institution or the army? Well, considering I invested 250 ducats, I'm wagering I invested both. Yeah, who knows? You could wait. You could, you could wager that. And roll for it. <laughs> roll for it. Roll perception. Roll for it. What the? F ben, it's too early. Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion. It's, not, it's not that game. I'm getting confused. Anyway, no, I'm not going to declare war on Bob. My offer was entirely diplomatic. And sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! I haven't done that in a while because he keeps throwing us against enemies that aren't affected by sleep. That, that you can't put to sleep. I wonder why. <laughs> well, to be fair, I didn't just hamstring you. I hamstringed the entire party. I also gave the party the ability to fight in that dungeon, but uh, they just didn't want to look around that room. No, nope. and uh, uh, they fucked themselves. As yeah. soon as you said the, uh, like, as soon as I heard your like sigh of relief when he perceptioned that room, I knew what was in there. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, it's a silver sword. Uh... Oh well, it... yeah. To anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, and also to Calvin, so I'm assuming you probably you haven't guys play D and D every week. Uh, That's all I know. Go... Yeah, every week. Uh, but uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks, they have been uh, crawling through a dungeon. Uh, and uh, one of the first rooms they encountered an enemy, uh, they recently, in the last uh, session, uh, and you can probably see this through Midge's uh, upload, because I'm pretty sure he uploads it all in one go. Yep. Uh, they, uh, they doubled back to that room, and upon further inspection, uh, or uh, any inspection, actually, a, a cursory glance, uh, mm -hmm. They uh, they had a sword that had a silver coating on it, which uh, would have quite literally uh, made their job ten times easier mm -hmm. uh, after they had already cleared most of the dungeon. Mm -hmm. so, so, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, it is. 
Welcome to our lives. Yep. And that, that, this was after I went out of my way to try to get a silver weapon before going into the dungeon. Yep. Yeah. That was also yeah. a thing. And then, and then I just realized I dug up that same guy's corpse. So, Bob, how's the uh, rebels looking? <laughs> well, I harsh treatmented them because you left my territory. Uh, so they're at 80% again. Okay. Yeah, nobody was objecting to me digging up a corpse after we figured out what they died of. <laughs> <laughs> just, just at the start. Is it Finrod? Tell me it's not Finrod. <laughs> It'll be flooring upside down within a week. Oh dear. Midge man. Oh sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. I'm what sorry. do you do? <laughs> no, I, haven't, I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh. He just he's just assuming the position. Just... No, sorry, it was the, the whole um <laughs> the whole Midge Man is like making us lag behind. Oh, up, so that. I thought you were in reference to that. He was, <laughs> but he didn't say anything about it. I, oh. I wasn't going to. I was gonna say, uh, what's the story with Riga? Because they're uh, they're looking tasty. You don't have an army. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh no, he does now. He does now. <laughs> yeah, I just financed Bob's new army. He immediately gets an army, and then he wants to uh, he wants to hurt Riga. <laughs> Riga's in a. Uh, th yeah, this is interesting because Riga is in a. A trade, uh, a trade league. They are. And that's the only thing holding me back from just eating them. Bob, you have my you support just... against Riga and any allies therein. That, well, it's going to entirely depend on what Midge Man says next. That's very interesting, Midge. Uh, Mr. See, Mr. They are, they're giving me because you had the Teutons behind you. Oh, the thing is, they ha they're, they're giving me their trade power. That's the thing. So, uh... I could let you take them uh, with with no Lubeckian arms raised uh, if you transfer me some trade power. I I don't have hardly any yeah. trade power. That's a he'll take what you he'll take what you have. <laughs> Need them well, shoes? I'll take I, the I, shoes. I, I I'm pretty sure that we could go back to Futurama, one of the one of the movies for this. I mean, when or mom, I or I could just future, call mom as Zoidberg. For everything he has, and he says, "All I have is I mean, a what we, what we got for here? a free tanning session." And she says, "I'll take it." So we got Friesland, Dithmachen, Hamburg, Lubeck, and Bremen. So and Bremen Teutonic Order, Teutonic Order has already offered their assistance. Bohemia would come in. I don't know where Norway and Sweden stand. Well, we have no. I mean, this this is mainland issues at this point. <laughs> mainland issues. I mean, we'll attack I will, for the I, mainland too. Yeah, I, well, the I next time Russia I, attacks Finland, we're just like, yeah, that's just Scandinavian issues. I, um, that's, that's exactly what you said last time. That's what I expect <laughs> from you. I mean, I, 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 we could do this amicably, or we could do this by the sword. I mean, that's kind of up to you at this point, bitch. I could, well, I could, I could throw Teutonic Order and Bohemia at you, or you could just let me have Riga. Well, I, I'm, I'm saying some monetary compensation might. Mm, be, might, like, might be in order. All right. Yeah, how much? How happen. much? I don't know. Much? Yeah. How? How much? Well, what? What's the dev? Let's look at this. Uh, they're at eleven. They give me <laughs> what? Sixty percent of their trade power. What? Hundred ducats? How much are their lives worth to you? Yeah. All right. That that's a deal. If you kick them out of the trade league, then uh, you'll receive a fat purse of a hundred ducats. Okay, how does one kick them out the trade league? Uh, yeah, don't look at me. You're doing this for money, Midge. I want you it. to know. I want you to, to acknowledge that you're 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 killing these people for money. There you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right. No, I want you to right. say it. I want you to say it out loud. I am definitely killing the people of Riga with for money. It's yeah. All <laughs> okay. right. You, you know what? Right. I'll throw in an extra twenty-five ducats for saying that. Oh, that makes it so much better. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. There, there you go, ages. Bob. It's wide open for you. Hooray. This is when Brayman, like, Brayman is still in, but I'm not concerned about Brayman. Yeah, I You know what I want to happen right now? I want Riga to, I want Riga to win. Like, not not, not for any, like, not not yeah, hey, because I don't want you to win. The price went up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But oh. just because it'd be funny to see you pay for this, and then they kick your ass. Yeah. That would have been 
<laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, they're just gonna ally Poland now, just instant. <laughs> Yeah. So why haven't you declared the war yet, Bob? Because I'm waiting for my maintenance to tick up. All right. Why didn't you just ask me? <laughs> I'll smash them for you. Smash them. Because you're because you're because you're waiting for rebels Ocean to fire. Smash. Let, let right. me at him, boss. Yeah. Let me at him. <laughs> Pretty much. No, I want I, I want the Teutonic you want order. Me to give in, him the clamps. In in fight the, the there they go. There they go. I want the Teutonic Order in fighting shape for uh, for bigger fish. My name is Zoidberg. John fucking Zoidberg! <laughs> Done. Oh god, I love that. God. I love that his first name's John. <laughs> I mean, yes. what? You can't, can't have a name like that? It's, no, I mean, I'm saying John's a good first name. Yeah. Well, there you go, Bob. I hate the military. Hooray. Here he gets all yours. Woo! Hell of a conquest. Oh. <laughs> you should be proud. <laughs> you should be proud of that is what you should be. Yeah, of those people you just oh, bought their death. Diplomatic insult from Denmark, apparently. Yeah, I just got the same thing. Yeah, they just sent it to me, too. They're like, you bastards, you took Fuck all my everybody. land. everybody. Screw you all. I used to be your dad. <laughs> well, the the best part is, is that they're doing that, but they're hiding behind the leg of Poland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm really hoping to get someone from my dynasty on the Polish throne. I'm, I'm getting closer. It's like, um... <laughs> have you guys I'm played second Fable? now. Right now I'm second. Oh, God. Oh, revolution in Lubeck. Oh, dear. Uh, 12 noble red. Uh, Good ooh. luck. So Super I do that like one, uh, or that one looks better for me. I think I can afford that one. Yeah, okay, cool. You need to get a little bit bigger, Midge. I keep having to zoom in to actually see the name of your country. Yeah. Like, uh, for any other reason, <laughs> for any other reason, just so I can actually, like, Is there a reason Hamburg is alive glance. right now? What? Yeah, they're my ally. They're a free oh. city also, aren't they? Yeah, they're a free city. Oh, yeah, that, that's fair then. They're my ally and a free city, and, like, both Hamburg and Bremen have, like, a really good... Or, or had, like, a really good military leaders. So, why don't you go to war with Dith... Marsh... Whatever the Because they're part of my country. trade league. Dithmarchen. Sound it out, you'll get yep. it. Yep, Dithmarchen. Uh, they're all members of my trade league. There's so, no kick them out of the trade league, league, invade them, they call Hamburg in, you get two birds, one stone. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm having AE kicked down a little bit. At the How do you sleep at night? Clearly, on a big pile of uh, of money and a bed made out of the bones. And German <laughs> corpses, apparently. Yeah, sounds about all right. No, I don't know. I mean, I, Kelvin's plan is exactly the one I would have suggested. I mean, yeah, there's, there's a fifty-fifty chance I might be a sociopath. <laughs> you might be a sociopath. I'm okay with that. I'll take those odds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Me bad. Come on, support for the, the Norwegian air. Oh, Brandon I've been Bugs doing this for 9,000 days. <laughs> <laughs> People have died. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've gotten it up and then it, 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 it they died, it goes back to zero, and then it goes up, it died, it goes back to zero. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's really cheap. Um, uh, so the institution, they, they happen every 50 years, right? Like that's a, that's uh, a 50 give or take, it's like a mean time to hit kind of thing. It's okay. pretty much with every 50 years if the conditions are met, though. Mm -hmm. That's so... what the order is no longer a theocracy. Next what? one is, is the next one colonialism? Oh, my, 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 yeah, my, my devotion was so low, it's just like, you can be a feudal monarchy if you want to be. I was like, you know what, let's do that. Fuck it. If it makes you feel I'm better, I'm, I'm gonna ditch this theocracy crap soon. I'm just trying I to press almost up. Almost was to go to <laughs> does it, does so, it say somewhere what the prerequisites are for the next institution? Uh, uh yeah, no. uh, maybe. I, I know they, they changed it. They were gonna they? add the tooltip in, but I don't know where it is. You mess over the start date. Uh, where's the start date? 
You click on the institution, the institution and then there's a start date. Unless uh, in the, the tech. No, no, no. In in the technology okay. screen. Go uh, go tech go to the technology screen. Go to the ah, there it is. Here's at least yeah, fifteen hundred. All right, so it could hit in Norway. Yep. It could. Yeah, I was gonna say, what do you think your chances are for Norway? Because, uh, uh, pretty good, I think. Do you have a colony? Is there any? Is there? Any, well, yeah, he has. He's got a colony. He's. How I did think I that just, was Bob? What just happened in the Livonian Order? What's that? We talking about? Are you not a? Th are you? Are you a? He's a monarchy. Jesus uh, Christ! I, I said this already. I, I'm a feudal monarchy now. <laughs> you really don't Bob. listen to anyone. It's just white noise, isn't it? <laughs> just noise. <laughs> You mean people other than me are talking? Why would I listen to that? Who's completely disconnected from the other players? But I was I was distracted by pop-ups. <laughs> so I just I just imagine Ben's world is just a series of of white noise and then clicks and pops that he has to decipher, <laughs> and and he's gotten pretty good at something. But... I'm a full-time YouTuber. I'm not obligated to be socially like competent <laughs> anyway. I I feel like the if we gave Ben like Amen. one of those pop-up kids books, we could just talk about things and him not hear us. Look, hey, Kevin, are you man. Just full time now or are you still yes. holding down a day job too? Uh, I don't know. I've never worked a day in my life. <laughs> oh, there you go. I, I've been a professional YouTuber since the day I left school. <laughs> okay. okay. That, that, there's that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no concept of the real world then, I suppose. No, none. I'm screwed if I ever have to get a real job. That explains a lot about your personality, I gotta say. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the hell, Bob? Midge man, do you a... do you want Bremen at all? Bremen, uh, as in my my ally. Yeah, oh, those Scotland guys got kicked. Uh, why? Well, they're, I'm at war with them currently, and uh, you know. Well, I I think I will want them. Yeah, eventually. Wow, uh, Bohemia is really holding out hope for the Lowonian Order getting into the uh, the throne in the uh, Holy Roman Empire. Oh, uh, really? so, it's an uphill battle, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, guys, they're voting yeah. for me. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. amazing. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know yeah. a vote. Um, wow. That's impressive. Who well, knows? Maybe you can win the Electoral now. College. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that looks like a pretty good ratio to me for uh, a win in the Electoral College. Eh, it happens. Just get the superdelegates to, to vote for you. It'll be good. Uh, yeah. Yo, here's what I'm going to do. Ask for military access from these guys. I think, do, I, I don't know, do I have to have a colony finished or just going? Finished. Let me mouse over the thing and I'll find out for you. So it had to be finished. Province owner so, has uh, quest for the new world. No, he just has to own a province. It can be an in oh. progress colony. Okay. As long yeah, as I mean, I have, I have all the prerequisites checked off. Yeah, so. Is there uh, any, like, is there any colonization in Europe right now? Like, I mean, not Europe, but like. Africa or anything like that going on right now? Yeah, there's a little bit. Um. Oh no, I isn't. don't see any colonization that, in Africa. I don't. What I can uh, see. yeah, no. Normal. Yeah, Ca uh, Cape Verde is being been colonized. Cape yeah. Verde has been Cape, colonized. Cape so Portugal most certainly has the New World. So fifty-fifty. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> could, down there. could come up here. Fuck them. It's gonna go. It's gonna be Norway. Remember what happened in the stream? Fucking Mali. Yeah. Yeah, but you had been colonizing like you had colonized like half of the Bel of of the of the uh not Belgium, uh, uh Brazilian. Brazilian coastline. Like Yeah, yeah, I had. That was cool. <laughs> That's the thing. It was cool. Oh, that was that that was so I, I felt so good when that hit in West Africa. The the gr the collective groans of the entire group was just uh, it's just music. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm See, okay he hears with that, Ben though. getting it. He like, hears that. He doesn't hear anything else, though. Ben, ben I'm okay <laughs> with you getting it, and we all should be because you're oh, yeah. a lot damn closer than Portugal. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. So we should really shouldn't be complaining. Like I'm rooting for you here. Oh yeah, we we all are. Well, I could probably force it. <laughs> Jesus, image. I know you don't mean it, but it's just that Britishness. It sounded like I, it, I constantly sound so <laughs> You just, always sound <laughs> passive aggressive. Always. Yeah, like I immediately, I was immediately thinking like <laughs> like Mitch has as a backup plan or something. As, as soon as I heard that, it's just because he sounded like so shady. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we're already <laughs> free. Yeah, yeah. I hope it hits. I mean, don't make be, me just do like an American you. accent. I, oh, all right, good news. Yeah. I figured out how to beat Poland, Lithuania. 
Ow. I can ally Muscovy. Oh, yeah, do that. And I've got yeah. Bohemia in my pocket as well. Wait, they'll, they're willing to ally you? I thought you guys hated each other. We're so friendly serious. now, apparently. Muscovy just like so that. Yeah, you know Livonian order. You uh, <laughs> you want to drop this uh, this uh, turncoat? Hey, hey, hey! I, I, I won't support them in any war against you guys, but I'm gonna totally try and drag them into a war against Poland, Lithuania. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with that, really. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like that's that's not particularly, you know, out of place. To me, it's a move worthy of a Romulan. I'm, you know. <laughs> Which, know, which not... Kaelvin and Mishman aren't going to get that. I'm going to say, they don't okay. understand that, Bob. They, they I know what know. a Romulan is. Do you? Okay. Do you? All right. All right. That's, that's not going to tell you anything, though. I, I know they're the weird bad people with the sort of dark elf looking shit. Just. Dark elf. Just, just, <laughs> stop. Just, 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 make just it stop. Just Making it worse, bud. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's like an eighty-year-old trying to explain Star Wars. It's it doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, so the extra twenty. Do you at least then you got Dr. then you got the play. Luke Solo, and he's got the he's got the <laughs> oh, Jesus. he's got the space magic. <laughs> he's got the space magic with the uh, with the light sword. You know, I don't know why I don't know why I defaulted like a New York accent or like a Boston <laughs> accent. <laughs> Oh dear. It's okay. It's okay. I've never even met somebody from Boston. It's, it's, it's just I want to go to. I love Boston. I'm I'm neutral on it. I'm, I, I I live as close to Boston as I live to uh, to San Francisco. So I, I have the equal oper I have equal opinions, which is none. So I'm wondering if they changed something with colonies. That I didn't read about. Oh my before. god! Look at Ulster, it just kicked England. Um, oh wow! Look at that. I'm doing well, what I gotta do. Ulster well, no, no, no. allied with Scotland, England. So. They took land from Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, sorry. Um, didn't when colonies got bigger? Didn't the settler the the chance of new settlers increase? Originally, yes. Now it decreases. However, now it goes down as the colony gets bigger. It grows slower. Yeah, more or less. How does that diminishing, make sense? Diminishing returns. Like, oh, there's more people banging. Well, it's, uh, that you're you're thinking way too long term. Like this is short term. You're talking like a co like the, the the amount of time it takes to build a colony in EU four is what four years, four or five years worth of, uh, oh, of it, time. It like it's got to be your spread. You know the the the, the, um, the settler spread rate. It's got to be wildly dependent on that because some nations that you you know you throw down a colony, it's going to be ten per year. And I'm 60 per year. All right. This could have been yours, Midge, but, you know. What? Hey, I, I didn't say any, anything. You never. We never finished that conversation, to be fair. <laughs> you you also, can't have equivocation. Hey, Bob, how do you feel about beating up Lithuania? I feel great about that, just not right now. Okay, fine. So, He's still trying to that my, kill Riga. My army is half a continent away. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, oh, yeah, like, right I've got there. Muscovy and I've got Bohemia on leashes. We can do this. God, Bob, I... your armor is awesome looking. It is awesome looking. And you've got this fucking, like, Warhammer of Doom. It's great, I know. Like, I like look my at that compared to, to it, my though. unit models. It's... And, God. I mean, the Norwegians and Swedish should have no problem joining in on this, since uh, Poland's it's... allied to Denmark. I, I, I do like, like, Lubeck's. Like well, I would, but you uh, well. you ended our alliance. Yeah, that was mostly just get the alliance with Muscovy. Sorry, they're just like minus twenty five because I'm <laughs> allied to Sweden. I'm just like, well, <laughs> and besides, you guys don't have to join in the war. You just have to declare your own on Denmark. I mean, it's pretty savage looking halberd there, Ben. I don't know. I think I, I like your warhammer better. Where are Ben's men? I can't see him. Oh wait, they're CG the down the rebel province. Ah, okay. I feel sorry for my viewers because I don't have any in the skin packs. So. Mm -hmm. well, you know, you should just, oh, <laughs> well, this that... is this is vanilla stuff. Pretty no, sure. Sweden those, has they... non-vanilla. They have those like plate helmet things and like a load of chainmail and a blue. Well, I'm looking at thing. I'm looking at Bob's uh, men, and they don't have a they don't have a warhammer. They have a they have a halberd, and like they look the same yep. as my guys. 
Oh no, they they've they've got like a full set of cavalry armor going on, sort of the two like. Well, I'm looking at them right now, and they don't have that. So it's. Well, that's, I'm that's pretty sure problem. it's a skin pack. Yep. Yeah. Don't own all the skin packs, because you know it's like a, there's a hundred fucking bucks of DLC for this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, no yeah. one buys it all. And they was it, oh, God, I got laid it. off two months ago, so, so like I I've pretty much got it all now. Actually, I keep. What, I, I, keep what I don't right understand is why sales. the base game cost forty dollars still. At the, like I'm surprised the base game costs money. The base game should be like five bucks or something like that, so that they could get people in to buy the rest of the shit. Yeah, that's, like, not, that's not how economics work, though. This is, they can make money off of it, so they're going to make money off of it. People will pay for it. But they can make more money if they do it in another way, because if more people are playing the game, there's more people to buy the DLC. Eh, I don't know, because then, then, then you have the because uh, as somebody who's worked in marketing before, uh, it, you also have the uh, the potential of uh, lowering the price of the base game, meaning that people that have less money buy the game, they might potentially ha not have the money to buy the DLCs. So having a high entry mark means that they have a disposable income to actually spend on the DLCs. So Paradox's evil plan is to only attract the bourgeoisie to play their games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, have you uh, have you been to a marketing meeting before? Like this is I have yeah, this I is have but this, yeah I've used this is pretty common. <laughs> With how you said that you went straight from school to YouTube. Yeah. Well, okay, I took a marketing course. Same I worked in marketing <laughs> for two years. <laughs> I'm at university doing an arts degree. Uh, all of this has gone straight over my head. Get out. <laughs> Sorry, Liberal Mitch. Arts. If we need somebody to tap dance for us, we'll call yeah. you. If we need the bard, we'll call you. Don't worry, we'll throw quarters at you. That was really Ta condescending. I'm sorry, points. Mitch. We love you, Midge. Well, joke's on you. For third year, I'm not doing dance anymore. No. <laughs> Stage it doesn't matter. You still own tap shoes. <laughs> yeah, and what? Well, I'm just, I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> Gain 20 Arby tradition. Yes. Now, how much do I have? 25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This institution should be hitting here soon. Yeah, it should be. Should be any any moment now. The Reformation should also be coming soon too. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's, I'm, I feel that's... like we're all staring at the date and just waiting for the the the, the month to tick over and me to start screaming. <laughs> well, the month's ticked well. over. So uh, tick tock. Oh, well, now now the next one. <clears throat> <clears throat> there's there's more. They're, they keep coming. Just some uh, teeth bite in action while I set up for a grand war what? against Lithuania and Poland. Why is Bessarabia its own country? Because somebody fucked up. By, by the looks of it, I would guess that for the same reason that Bob currently owns Luki in the north. Or some. Bessarabia? Where the hell's Bessarabia? Oh, Where, Black uh, sea. yeah. I did what? Sorry, what? The Black, Black Sea? Sea. Go to Crimea. You know where that is. <laughs> yeah, no, then yeah, go, I'm then there. Go left. Then go left. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Could just said the Odessa region, and I probably would have gotten that. Noted. That's right. Use my my geog like my mental geography. Not not the actual kind. Mm -hmm. No, I got you. Okay then. So uh, uh, Bob, how uh, how goes that? thing God, you're doing. It's going. I mean, you've been st you're sitting at 12 over there. Been there a while. At 12? What? The siege 12, progress. Oh. I just had I just We're had to give my housemate a suit. So sorry I wasn't talking. Like yeah, at, was on on Bremen, you have 12 siege progress. You've been there for a while. I'm at, I'm at 21. Yeah. Those numbers are out. Next time I should have asked to borrow my navy to blockade them or something. Speed the process up. Ah, oh, colonies. I need you to start producing money. Prop up the home country. It's it's um it's uh, investment in the future. I do. We got this. We got this. You know what probably didn't help 
when I was uh, testing out Victoria Two last no. night. I was playing. Uh, I was playing Sweden, so uh, I am completely fucked today. I, I don't know where anything is. Like I, <laughs> I'm clicking to try and find my goddamn pop screen. And... Oh, you don't know the names of the provinces and whatnot. Well, I mean, like, I'm checking it, like, I'm going, like, okay, well, all right, so when's the election happening? Oh, right, no, that's, that's not a thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, like, I played it for a couple hours, and that's, it's just, now it's in my head, and it's too early. <laughs> anyway, Bob, I'm pleased to announce a planned spring offensive. Oh, my God, look uh, at all okay, then. <laughs> uh, Oh, Jesus Christ. What happened? That, that, is definitely doing stuff. That's an Ulster nationalist wet dream happening right there. <laughs> yeah, that that appears to be a thing. Like, hey England, aren't you supposed to be doing something? Oh, you're allied with Ulster. Yeah, they're oh, yeah. they're the ones propping this shit up. Jesus. God, it is too early. I got when you said Ulster, I looked at Anholt and I was like, <laughs> what, what are you talking about? It's just a, it, God, it was, it, it was Man, still on my screen. I, too. See I wasn't no even zoomed in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Alright. Let me get me a nice claim here. I'm there gonna start go. colonizing dude. Colonialism. I thought you, I thought you were already me. colonizing. Well I am, I'm just I'm 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 at eight hundred and fifty settlers on my first colony. How old is this? And it's, just, it's really throwing me for a loop that the colonists are going, the, the, the chance of new settlers is going down rather than up. But we're, we're out of time, guys. Yes, we you're are. At, you're out of time. So, it's a good time. Tune in next time uh, because we're going to war with Poland, Lithuania. Oh, oh good war. Idea. Go well, to war. Don't forget to leave a like, guys, uh, and a comment right down below. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a weird war. Yep. I hope you survive. I mean, I've got Bohemia and Muscovy. I like my odds here. Okay. Well, we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. See ya.